Soul of the City. What's up, St. Louis City fans? Welcome back to another episode of Soul of the City. I'm joined by Milo and Ian. We're going to be breaking down some of the MLS Skills Challenge, the MLS All-Stars, and talk about the new Leagues Cup tournament that City will be competing in and who they're going to be facing. So, Yeah, yeah. I guess we can uh, start with the All-Star game. It was... Uh, the boys went out there and did their thing, and by the boys, I mean my favorite team, Arsenal, beat the MLS All Stars by the largest margin ever. Wow! Five nil. Mm. Wow! Some impressive. Well, last episode we wished uh, Hemi Parker and Berkey some luck, and they uh, <laughs> they needed it because Berkey let in two kind of wonder goals in the first half. First one scored by Jesus, and it was kind of a deflection. I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah. He was and trying to do that exact thing, though. Yeah, so he was definitely him, trying to put it. I give him credit. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, Trossard curled one near post. That was pretty nasty. Uh, I think Tim Parker ends up coming into the game in the second half. 13 <laughs> seconds later, giving up a penalty. Yeah. <laughs> St. Louis really showed out. <laughs> I yeah. can't blame Berkey, though. No. For the, for the two goals he let in, they were just like... No, nah, they weren't really they were saving. Really I felt like the odds were a little lopsided. I, I felt like Arsenal got to put out a good squad, and meanwhile, they were playing an MLS All Star team that they changed people the entire time. There wasn't, there wasn't a. They didn't make like, you know, the that's actual All Star team. That's how it is every year. Like they just swap people in and out. Like yeah, but I want to see the best players play Arsenal the whole game. Okay. I don't give a shit if Tim Parker gets on the field, to be honest. Okay. I feel like with all All-Star games, you're trying to showcase all the players. Your best talent. Yeah, and you're not like trying to run somebody out there for 90 minutes. I'd be yeah. mad if I was Carnell, and they were like, yeah, we used Tim Parker all game long. like, And he got injured or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be terrible. Um, I was kind of curious, like looking at like the past MLS All-Stars, um, how they did against teams it's been it's been kind of back and forth it's like, usually pretty respectable yeah i Yesterday, mean in 2016 I they played arsenal and yeah. arsenal won two to one right so it's a mean, lot different the, arsenal the team gap, than that arsenal team yeah the gap in quality in that game was apparent from the first minute to the 90th minute i mean just watching the touches that the all the all-stars were mm -hmm. pulling off compared to you know premier league players was just <laughs> pretty eye opening. Yeah. I don't know if they just weren't taking it as serious or there's just they're just really that much worse. But I think it, they were trying to win. I think the Arsenal was just they put out a very strong lineup. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like they pulled any punches. I mean they had they pulled a few punches. A few. They had, like, they had a few, but they had Gabby they had Jesus, their starting, they had Ketia. Their starting and back not a line. starter. Okay, but he's a solid player. They had All their three starting midfielders defense, weren't starters. Though. No, it wasn't yes. our starting Jorginho defense. Jorginho was a, Salva, a solid player. Okay. Saliba started, Ben White started. Those and are the only so did uh, Gabriel. I don't think he's going to start next year. Okay, well, based on last season, you're, yeah. you're starting you're right. line. I think that they started anything, Ramsdale. I was like, how are you not going to play Turner in the States? Or did they not in the second half? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I know they put in Odegaard. That was a punch that they, they pulled, and then they brought yeah. him on, and it, it paid dividends. They put in Odegaard. Yeah. They ended up putting in like a bunch of players. They put in Timber, which is one of their new signings, mm -hmm. Declan Rice. They put in Balogun for a little cameo. Yeah. Um, I think that, if anything, it's just – I don't understand the MLS like going out of its way to get – like. You probably don't want to get like the best teams. Yeah, go get like Southampton or something. Not Southampton, but just like not the Chelsea had a bad year. Let's play them. Like, there's a lot of U.S. Chelsea fans. Maybe we can look good against them. Or like, like bring Leverkusen back. Yeah, <laughs> just just <laughs> like, something. That's why a little are we more bringing the team that went toe to toe with the best team in the world for the entire season and brought in better signings? Like, why? <laughs> Arsenal that, gave City a run for their money last season, and we're bringing. They got better over the summer. Yeah, and I, I <laughs> think it's just like brought. silly because for an All Star game, you want to make your own players like look good. Yeah, now <laughs> like you go on the that's internet, not doing and anything. The MLS is just getting clowned. getting shit on <laughs> yeah. across the entire every platform. Dude, you throw a group of great players together, they're still probably going to lose to 
a team, like a, a team yeah. that has played a, like with a, cohesion, yeah, with and chemistry, a coach that has a system. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've tried a few different things in the past. Um, one of those models being <clears throat> East versus West. They used yeah. to do that in the early two thousands and then the. 90s that would have been fire that's way cooler i think it just like makes a little bit more sense with the level of competition because then you you bring in although i say that and then they did beat chelsea back in 2012 dude that's like the most american thing ever for it to be like an east versus west and then whoever wins it gets like home field advantage I for love the mls that. cup like that they that used to have problem. that in baseball i understand too. that yeah right i don't now. like that mi- translating into like a playoff situation it makes it matter i yeah, don't think the MLS, try i don't think the mls all-star i don't think the all-star game in any professional sporting event should should dictate the playoff situation but then why do you like why do you have it there's no it it okay. like try the hard. nba they get a lot of flack for going out and like not trying hard. Showcase what? Like getting dunking and clapped on live television. Well, the hope <laughs> is that they wouldn't get clapped. But yeah, uh. well, the only way to stop that is if like we chose all stars like six months ago and had them practicing with each other with a yeah. with the same coach with the same philosophy. Like, you can't just take. It's it's a bad idea. Eleven random motherfuckers and just be like, "Hey, go beat Arsenal." It also doesn't always go as poorly as it did. Like we've beaten like Bayern's, like not like similar to what Arsenal did yesterday. Like pulling a few punches. Like Bayern will come and like pull a few of their best players off the field and we'll beat them. I think we beat Tottenham one year. Mm -hmm. Like we'll beat some of those teams, but yesterday was just really bad. And it made the league look really bad. I thought the Arsenal, like all their players, are coming off a holiday. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're all just they're just coming back. Like this was a scrimmage, like with your home, like your right, friends. Right, they dusted like, us. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty bad look. I yeah. mean, we couldn't get one. Our like the stars that we are supposed to be having, like we couldn't get one goal. Mm-hmm. We've had we had mm-hmm. stars out there that, I mean, in the in the skills challenge, they were looking crazy, but then. Like, they couldn't get a touch-off. It was, like, what a waste of time. The one win we did have uh, was in the skills challenge, and Kai Havertz had a goose egg in the the volley the volley uh, yeah, I was getting segment around in our that. group chat for that one. <laughs> he it's erased right. that in the 88th minute. Yeah. Thank <laughs> God Chelsea sold. <laughs> I don't know. Did you see the goal he scored? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good. A little MLS chest and volley. Stars, right? <laughs> <laughs> no worries. We can't have it both ways. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Do you guys have anything else to add about... Oh, the skills challenge, goalie wars, was the most wild thing I've ever seen. I didn't... I haven't really watched MLS until this this season, so that was just a crazy thing. They just have two goalies, like, like... facing each other with goals behind them and you can just rip shots and throw shots at each other like <laughs> in the yeah. first round they like one of the goalies just kept shooting it with his foot and the other one's just launching it with his hand yeah. into the top 90 and i'm like stop stop shooting it with your foot bro just throw you that can use your hands <laughs> but i definitely i think that that is a game that only goalies can appreciate because you could see Aaron Ramsdale on the sideline just loving it. Mm-hmm. Like he, it looked like he's gonna go take that back to to Arsenal, Arsenal training. And, yeah, <laughs> have some fun. I don't know. It seemed kind of like bullying. Like you're like half volleying shots as hard as you can yeah. at another person from like, like 30, thirty feet away. Feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even that far. You're not even that far away. It's like when you come last in like some kind of run and everybody yeah. just lines up to kick a ball at you. <laughs> I definitely think letting them throw the ball makes it a it's lot like cheating. less yeah <laughs> like i understand these... it's working on a skill though because you want to be like really accurate with your throws so. right so make a skill challenge specifically designed for goalies like in the nba where they have the dribbling like the skill challenge where you gotta you know pass it Put into it a in hole the, yeah. and like you know not just hey just line up and start <laughs> chucking that <laughs> like it, just hit it yeah like, let, <laughs> let it rip thing, let that thing fly <laughs> Was, I mean, it was definitely ridiculous, but I think that was part of the fun of it. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to see more Matt Turner, but I I don't know. I'm surprised that they didn't like do more with Balogun and uh, what's it called? Like you you could see the amount of Arsenal fans that there were in like yeah. the stands at the game. Like it was overwhelmingly Arsenal, and for them to not play Matt Turner and Balogun for like to start the game I thought was a mistake because it's like you're just doing something good for the brand there yeah like a lot of other teams sometimes I'm like I think they're just picking up this U.S. player 
because it's like a U.S. player and it's going to do something for their brand more than like someone else would. Um, I mean, we saw Pulisic go to AC, and I think he's kind of tearing it up already. But I in preseason, yeah, yeah. I kind of wish Matt Turner would go to a a different team where he can start. I get being it's it's good to be the backup at a team as prestigious as Arsenal, but like he could go to like a mid table team and get minutes, and that oh, would for sure. make yeah. him way better for us specifically. Obviously, he's probably tr- getting a bag. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think that at some point in his career, he will probably be like like losing minutes to someone that is starting somewhere else because right now he's still got the starting place for the USA, so it's not that big a deal. Whereas if you know, some goalie rises up and starts getting minutes at some mid-table yeah. club. Looks good. They're going to start him because they know what they got. And, like, it made sense when he, you guys, when Arsenal was having a rough time of it and was in Europa League. I mean, he got Europa yeah, he League minutes. minutes mm-hmm. But now they're in the Champions League, so I just don't see, unless Ramsdale gets hurt, I don't see him getting, him that much getting play. minutes, yeah. really, you know. I mean, we haven't signed someone to be the backup other than him. So right. they obviously trust in him to do that if Ramsdale goes out injured. So <clears throat> the well, Arsenal squad also loves Matt Turner for his Americanisms. Yeah, they do. So can't can't let him go. I think can't Aaron let him Ramsdale go. said he's that. like their pet. <laughs> <laughs> he's our little American pet. Yeah. Look he's at the this funniest. stupid little American. <laughs> funniest bloke on the team. Don't come, even know it. <laughs> come here, lad. Come here. You want to play some golly wars? Americanisms. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. I think we can uh, – that's about all we got for the uh, the All-Star game, right? Yeah. I don't have anything else. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, Leaks Cup. Yeah. I'm actually super excited about this, this tournament We're once a, I started learning about it. A little bit of a rough group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. It'll be it'll be an interesting group for sure. I think everybody in there – it's probably the most competitive of all the groups. Um, City is in a three-team group with Columbus Crew and Club America. So, and Columbus Crew, not not really anything to scoff at. No, no joke. No, they've got what one point less than us, two points less than us <coughs> in in the supporter shield standings. Um, they got thirty-six, and we have forty-one. Oh, okay, four points behind. Or so. five. So it's definitely an interesting part of the season where we get to start seeing. Carnell's priorities mm-hmm. with the lineups that he puts out. Do we do we rest our starters and try to get to full health before the the return of the the season, or do we go for another cup? I I don't think it's worth going for a double in our first season. If we I can. think it is, why not? I think that there's no way that any any coach doesn't try to be competitive in this league or like in, in any of these competitions. Yeah. Well, so. especially with no MLS games going on yeah. during this time, like you have to. It's it's Yeah, but it could also be seen as a time to, you know, try out different people, give give other people an opportunity to Like to show Isak they, Jensen get a start in yeah. this. That mm-hmm. if I saw Isak Jensen start in this game or in in one of these League Cup games, I would feel like we weren't we weren't trying We as weren't hard. trying to win. Yeah. yeah. It's like the FA Cup like It feels a little bit cooler than that this is the first year that they're doing it and it's a 47 uh first division clubs from canada mexico and the united states so it's 29 teams from the mls 18 from liga mx and they're going to compete in like a world cup style tournament so you do like a a group stage and mm -hmm. then it goes into elimination games so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen groups okay. of three. And then the two teams that won like the MLS Cup winner. So oh, it was the Supporter Shield winner. Yeah. No, it was the MLS Cup winner, LAFC, the winner of last year's MLS Cup gets a bye. And then the winner of um Liga MX, Liga MX, basically, yeah, which they split their league into two, like two separate leagues. So uh, it's CF Pachuca, so they get they get a buy in the first round. So that's interesting. But then um, each team in the group stage they play a, a minimum of two matches, and this is a weird thing. Like really. Like, relegation wins count as three points. I'm not entirely sure what that. What that means? They regulation. Say, regulation. There you go. Wow. I was like, what does that <laughs> even dyslexic. mean? Yeah. 
Um, they said no ties. And then they said each team will receive one point if the team is tied after 90 minutes. Yep. And then you and get then two the if winner, you win it in the penalty shootout, right? Yeah. So the winner of the subsequent penalty shootout will earn an additional point. So And there's no extra that, time, right? It's just... 90 and then straight to PKs. penalties. Yeah. Mm, I didn't see anything about extra time in yeah. the in the read. I think it's just 90 and then it goes to PKs. I think that's what, what we what talked about, about last yeah. well, podcast. So if you win So if you win a penalty shootout, do you get all 3 points? No, you get 2. Okay. It's like hockey. I think it's like hockey, yeah. Okay. Or, or no because hockey's like you get the full value. I think that is a weird way to word it. You're right. I didn't I, understand. I, get, I, get I didn't where get it. I was like, right so now. does the losing team gets one point just for making it to a tie game after 90 minutes? Right. Mm-hmm. Which is like hockey. Okay, that in, that alludes to the fact that there is no extra time. Yep. So that's solved. And then, and then you get two, and then you get two points for winning the game at like in. Pens. I don't know if you like. Or do you get, get two a- additional points, or you just get two points yeah. because you won the penalty shootout? Like, I would total imagine, two points. I would imagine it's, you get three it's, points, and the other team gets one point. I have no idea. Which is weird. And I'm anxious to see which it is, because now I am confused. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Point is, just go win the damn game Yeah. in the yeah. 90 minutes. And, I mean, we should be the best team in this group, but... You think? I think Columbus I think, is an exciting, exciting team right now. They are, but yeah. I think we are too. Yeah. Um, and then Club America, I'm actually more scared of them than I am of Columbus Crew, just because I think they're kind of an unknown commodity right now. Their league just started. Okay. And yeah, so there's like zero. Points. They were first or second last year in the f- like they they have it broken out in like halves. I don't know. Yeah. Like the first half of the season, they were first. With 38 points. In the mm-hmm. second half of the season, they were second with 34 points. And then this year, they're all the way down in 12th. But, like, there have been two games played. So, mm-hmm. like, that doesn't mean anything to me. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, always when Liga MX teams come up against MLS teams, mm-hmm. there's something there. A bit of a rivalry, obviously. Yeah. And a bit of a different culture of play like they they play the game very differently and in recent past i mean liga mx has kind of been coming out on top yeah. when it comes to like the champions league and that's all i know because i don't know anything else yeah i mean um, they're they're a more established league they've yeah. been around for a lot longer and i think that soccer is a lot larger part of the culture in mexico so i think that Naturally, they will be better than us until we can kind of develop the same talent systems that they might have. Um, I'm trying to see where I'm reading this this page about what happens if you win. Okay, so I'm officially big- sanctioned. Top three teams will receive automatic bids into the CONCACAF Champions Cup, not Champions League. It's not called that anymore. It's called the Champions Cup. I'm just trying to be different, With man. a chance to represent the Confederation at the FIFA Club World Cup. Okay. Dang, so if you want to be the team from any of the Americas, you have to win this. And top then three, w- right? Mm-hmm, top three. You have to be top three in this, and then you have to win the CONCACAF Champions Cup? Or Champions League to be at the the yeah. World Club World Cup. You'll well, have, you can you'll, if you get top three in this tournament, then you have automatic bids into Champions League Cup. Champions Cup now. Okay, but yeah, the, but you can also get into it through winning a U- winning the yeah. league. Yeah, 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 winning the MLS Cup or the league, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. So yeah, that's cool. Gives you more opportunity. I think this is a really cool tournament. Honestly, I love whenever it's like knockout style. I think they type. should replace the penalties with goalie wars. <laughs> <laughs> that way it's just goalie v. goalie. Yeah. Um, but then it'd be a little too gimmicky. In the knockout stage, they say that the winner of... So we're in C1, so that's Central 1 Okay. group. Um, the winner it. of that plays the second place of C2. So that could be either Chicago Fire, mm. Minnesota... 
Mm. And then the Liga MX team, which I gotta, I gotta find. That's again. a way easier group. That is not an easy group. Minnesota, we lost to, and Chicago, we lost to. Yeah, Why was that an easy? That group? was that was in a, a down period, like a those, moment of weakness. Yeah, those <laughs> games don't count. We don't talk <laughs> about that stretch. <laughs> we don't talk about our losses. We only talk about we our s- wins. We especially don't talk about going to Chicago to see the L. Puebla. Yeah. We could we could face Puebla, which that's is if we win it. So if we get second, then we play the first ta- place team, right? Um, if we win it, then we, the, we would place the first place team from that group, right? If we <coughs> win our co- if we win our group, then we play the second place team of the second group. So if we if get, we get second, second in our group, yes, then we play the first place team of C two group. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'd like to play Chicago again and knock them out of a tournament. I would love to play Chicago again. Yeah. I've, I agree. I don't feel like they got us at our best at all. It no, was like that one week where we were way down and we played them <laughs> twice. <laughs> to be fair, they are so also was having a tantrum on the field and yeah. shit. Yeah. To be fair, they are also playing a lot better now they than are. they were at it's, that time. It's because Shakiri's actually trying now. Yeah. I'm not Dude, convinced. he scored some goal that they played as like a highlight where they do like a free kick. Yeah. And he just passes it to the dude. Like he standing near top back. of the box, and he like rolls it back to him, and he just like whips one into the near post. It's yeah. disgusting. I'm a big Shakiri fan. Yeah, big Shaq. Liverpool, Liverpool. legend. <laughs> Part of the the comeback against Barcelona. Yeah. Um. Well, Columbus they, Crew. Yeah, we're not facing we're not facing Chicago for at least we got to get out of the group yeah. stage first. We, we got to talk about Columbus, and they are historically historic. Yeah, historic. <laughs> historically, uh, historic. historically historic. They no, no. What's in Ian's in word? What's your word? Ian? Perennial. Perennial. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Perennially, perennially, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> perennially historic. Oh, historically I perennial. Don't I don't think that means anything. What you just said. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> we will be facing. We'll be facing Columbus Crew July twenty third. So that's Sunday. Yeah, uh, at six thirty p.m. Franchise that was founded in nineteen ninety four. Um, from 99 to 2021, they played at the historic crew stadium and they just got a new stadium called lower.com field. I think you were saying they're the first team to build a soccer only stadium. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Um, they also have six major trophies. Yeah. They won the MLS cup in 2008 and 2020. 20. So some recent success. They were runners up in 2015. So yeah. 2020 Mickey mouse cup doesn't count. Oh, it's COVID ball. Yep. Gotcha. Wipe it from the wipe it from the history books. It's got an asterisk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They won the U.S. Open Cup in 2002. Yep. Dang, they and played then, tennis. Uh, hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the Supporter Shield in 2004, 2008, and 2009. Damn. So. That's, just shows they're a they're a very solid club each year. Snooze. <laughs> yeah, you snoozing? We don't got a trophy yet, man. We can't yeah. be snoozing. I'm honestly kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm too, man. They got they got some dogs on this team. I think that we're going to have to be on our toes the whole time, which I I don't know, man. It's going to be hard to, a hard group to get out of. I don't I don't it's not very easy to say who's going to be first and second. I think any three of them could come out. I think if Club America is in like a poor run of form we it should be the mls teams that come out on top of this group yeah because both teams are like very competitive like columbus columbus crew would be what fourth in the west right now five so points behind us who did who did la lose to in the club world cup oh, not the club the world cup champions yeah the league? champions league because <clears throat> that whole thing like it was like it's time for mls to Enact its revenge on Liga MX, yeah, and then, then they got to the and final and got nil. thrashed. Yeah, that was bad. Who was it? Um, because it was a see. it was two legs too. I remember that because every all the LA fans were like, "You're not ready for us coming back on the second leg and winning." And then they went to LAFC's stadium and beat them again. And they, that was when they had that tifo. Yeah, yeah, the big Mortal Kombat team. Yeah, finish yeah, yeah. him, and it was super finish ironic him. because they literally came through and finished them. Is this the match you're talking about? I think it All was the against Leon. They lost 2-1 in the first leg and then 1-0 in the second leg. So overall. Was that this year? Yeah. Or? Okay. Sunday, June 4th, 2023. 
and May 31st. They well, lost to Alajuelense. Al- oh, 0 to 3. And what tournament was that? Does it say? Yeah. It's CONCACAF Champions League. So that looks like their last match on March 9th. It was against Lyon. Yeah. Lyon. Okay. Lyon. Yeah. Hmm. Gotcha. And so, yeah, the the whole talk of the town was this is the year MLS stamps its its dominance on the the CONCACAF. Yeah, right. With this brilliant I, uh, LAFC team. I still think we got a ways to go before that. Me too. I mean, the culture is just completely different. It is. I, yeah, I've heard go to Liga MX team game and it's oh, it's wild. It's off the chain. Yeah. I mean, but we did Seattle Sounders. They did win Concap Champions League in 2022. Yeah. So mm-hmm. MLS, they kind of did stamp it. It just wasn't LAFC the way everybody was marketing it. Mm-hmm. I think it was just the way that LAFC won the league that year. It was uh, kind of dominant. Yeah, I think, and people thought they were like one of the best MLS teams to ever exist. So. For them to go to the final and kind of get handed an L by a like team that. that's not like genuinely known as a great Liga MX, Liga squad. MX yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not a good look. But I don't know. We could do it again this year. Basically, I'm turning in this into shitting on LAFC. Oh, okay, yeah. So the team mm-hmm. that beat us three 0 because our coach showed up drunk. Yeah, that would happen. <laughs> My guy, <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on him. <laughs> if that's why we lost, I'm okay with it. The man just wanted to have a good time. I think he like accidentally put in the MLS next pro roster yeah. <laughs> instead of the the roster he had actually picked out, and that was just you know mix up some, some paperwork. And Homie popped a quaalude before the game. <laughs> 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 That's why I killed my wife. It was my sleeping pills. Oh man, you remember those days? Mickey you was <laughs> neither a murderer nor is he married. Yeah. So if you're single, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what you got to look forward to. If you have quaaludes, hit me up. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> there you go. Oh man, uh, <laughs> reel it in. You Let's were, reel you it, were it in. Reel it back. Dogs reel it back. On, on the yeah, there are order. some dogs well, in the Columbus. Crew. Tell us about it. Um, they got Lucas Zelarayan. Dog. Dog. <laughs> They got another. Uh, they got another. They got another guy. <laughs> no, they got. An, they got another solo named player. Cucho. Cucho. Dog. Yeah, dog. And what, are, what were you saying? It means Christian you, Mermaid. No, I had that messed up. It oh, doesn't okay, mean anything right, right. actually. So. Um, <laughs> so um, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it means. Got, I'm looking. I did just look it up. It says hunchback or limbless person. <laughs> So I don't I don't know if that's quite the dog the dog that I was portraying. <laughs> He's there. really proven everybody wrong with yeah. you know in, in the MLS. Yeah, agreed. Their last dog is uh, Christian Ramirez. Yeah, who's four American, goals, eight assists, or er, eight goals, three assists. Yeah, Dang. Cucho five goals, ten assists. Dang, and then Zellerian, ten goals, seven assists. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. No, they uh, they got some talent, that's for sure, and mm-hmm. they're one of the better attacking squads, I'd say. But I mean, I don't know. I I would say we we've got a chance, but if we put out like a a lineup like we did against <laughs> LAFC, <laughs> I'm uh, all hope is gone. Yeah, barring that Carnell doesn't have a stroke on the sideline and choose just a terrible team, we should win it. I feel like there's no excuse to not play your strongest lineup come Sunday. Especially, ju- I don't especially know what he thinks our strongest lineup is. If we, I don't know if he knows. I, I don't know if I even know. You know, like I know. I think I know. You know? <laughs> I think I know. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying, and Watts, it's the one that we play on played yeah. on Sunday. Watts, basically. Nelson, yeah. Yarrow. Um, Nelson's in our strongest Nelson lineup. Rather no, than Hebert. Over Hebert. Okay. Hebert. Okay. Hebert. Hebert left back. Yep. Blom, Leuven. Does AZ, Leuven start? Yes. Does he start on Sunday? Is he ready to go? Oh, you think? Well, he's yeah. had a couple substitute appearances. I think he's probably going to start. Mm-hmm. Get a week off. I mean, he came I in and banged they- one. He obviously wants to get back out there. And we can use him from our from our dead ball stuff. Honestly, I don't want him taking corners anymore, though. Leuven? Yeah, I feel like we've seen more success yeah, from corners with AZ and Vasilev. Yeah, agreed. Leuven, and like, it'd be nice to have another big man in the box. Leuven yeah. rips. And he's... 
like six two. Yeah. Like, Luvin yeah. exclusively rips pissers into the box from the yeah. corner. And he, true. He, he hits set like pieces really hard. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, who, yeah. who's hitting that? Mm-hmm. Nobody's hitting well, that. Vasilev's a nice in-between of the he's two. He's trying to provide him some pace on the ball like, to, to whip it in. When AZ takes corners, I feel like he sees a target in the air that he just floats it to that he knows somebody's head can get to. When Leuven takes corners, it's like he's he, he's trying he's to bounce it off of the someone ball. in the box yeah. into the goal. Yeah. He's like out here playing. Let me hit this knuckler straight from hell. <laughs> right off Timmy Parker's head. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's g- the good news for us is that Columbus is not in the best form. They, uh, they lost to Portland on Saturday. And they tied New York FC the week before that. They tied Inter Miami the week oh, before that. Oh, never mind. We're wiping. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> We're wiping. Yeah. But <laughs> how do you how do you tie Miami? <laughs> but they did they did beat New York, Nashville, oh Chicago. Oh yeah. yeah. But Nashville, Handy Mukhtar, since putting three in against us, like I don't think he scored recently. He definitely really. didn't do shit in the All Star yeah, game. Yeah, that's for sure. I was sitting there at the very beginning. I was like, do you think Hani Mukhtar could play in the Prem? And then the onslaught happened. And I was like, yeah. I, I heard that he's linked to the Saudi league just with just about everybody hey, else in soccer right now. Get the bag, right now. man. Yeah, I mean, if you can go over there and get yourself a, a bag, I'm, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to gonna pocket watch. Yeah. Uh, I think I feel like Tiago Almada is like one of the, <laughs> the main people I could see going – Overseas. Hasn't he kind of fallen off though? He has. I feel like of he's fallen off. off in the past. Well, he didn't make the All Star team, did he? Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, he, he was in, there. He was okay. in there. And he was but in the skills start. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's talented. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, um, what do you guys think? Do you feel like? What do you think is your score predictions for Sunday? We're wiping. The League's Cup. Well, this is at Columbus, is it not? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. in Columbus. Never mind. I think it's a two-one win. I think it's a two-zero dr- win. Draw. <laughs> yeah, it's a two zero draw. <laughs> Let me look at some stats real quick. They are number one in rating. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Goals per match, they're number one in that. Goals conceded. They give up one point four. So their defense is like their their weakness. What's they're the possession a they're like? high possession team. They're number one in the league with fifty seven point two percent. That's a wipe. Yeah, they don't exactly have a whole lot need. of clean sheets. You followed um, right into my trap. Fifth in expected goals. Okay, so they're pretty high up with that. Shots on target per match. They're also fifth. So they're just a dynamic offensive team that holds the ball. Um, third in accurate passes per match. That's that's interesting. So I, I don't think I think it's a pretty good matchup for St. Louis City with our pressing style. Um, it's just kind of the best. It's like the best at what they do versus the best is what we do. And last time I said those exact words, it was versus LAFC, who's also a more possession based team. Um, yeah, and we saw how that went. No, so. that game that game is in the group of Chicago and Minnesota. Is where it though? We we don't talk about it. Is it though? It's like not absolutely. Yeah. Quaalude. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Quaalude a, Carnell it's strikes a sweat again. <laughs> Quaalude oh, Carnell. That's his new nickname until he proves himself again. Kalana Pen Carnell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crack he, Carnell. <laughs> he got restless leg. Yeah. <laughs> he really got restless mind. It's like make it up, man. Yeah. He he'd be on his pep. I gotta I gotta change yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't envy him I gotta, though. I gotta make. I don't changes. envy him though because it's like it seems like the the lineup is kind of dynamic. Like it's fluid. Like you got injuries going on, and then you got players kind of like showing that they could have a starting spot, but you don't fully know what you have in somebody like. A Josh Yarrow. Do you feel like you guys know what you have in Josh Yarrow yet? At this point, yeah, I think yeah. I do. Yeah, I think he. I think he starts. Is he clear? Th- he's I clear. Think he's Barlett. A, I think he's just. Yeah, starter. he's definitely yeah. clear. Barlett. Okay. I, I think it's like him and Parker. He, he definitely complements Parker way better than Barlett mm-hmm. does. I think that we have like, like a few center backs that profile really similarly. I think Bell, Bartlett, and Parker all play like the same style of center back, and it's like s- super physical, beat you up, meet the ball when it's coming in kind of thing. And then I don't feel like we have anyone else on the team that profiles like Yarrow. Maybe Nielsen comes in, and he's a better version of Yarrow <clears throat> and can kind of be that sweeper rather than a stopper. 
I mean, at this rate, Nielsen and Klaus just aren't on our team anymore. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know what the injury situation looks like for either of them. Somebody placed a curse on them. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. Some witch somewhere. Some some witch in a coven placed a curse on them. So if you're trying to place a curse on Columbus crew. Why? Uh, <laughs> so we can catch a dub on Sunday. I right. really it would yeah. be great to to win the whole damn thing and get automatic. Yeah, champions, champions, yeah, league. Champions, league. champions league, champions. I'm Cup. ready for that. Man. I would just like to have one trophy this season. That's what like, I'm saying. At the end of the season, if we can say that we won like one thing, mm-hmm. we will look at it as more of a success. Even if we do like make the playoffs, make a deep run, and not win it, I think we'll like. It'll just be nice to have something. What is the I'm most sorry. likely trophy? If you were to ask me this question at the very beginning of the season, I would have said the most likely trophy for us to win was the U.S. Open, Open, Cup. Open Cup. And now <laughs> and I now would we're say out of the it. MLS Cup because well, I don't think we are going to be as good like in terms of longevity and picking up points in the league. I think since he's just going to beat us there because they've already got a lead on yeah. us. I think in a week-by-week week, like – put your best team out there and something could happen. I think we're a team that could definitely come home with That's the last cup. I feel like we should focus on this one. I, f- I feel like we c- we're we in a spot right now where it's, I'm not going to say guaranteed because nothing's guaranteed, but like we're pretty much guaranteed a playoff spot right now just being where we're at in, in the, the table. In the MLS Cup? Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost. Almost. But given that, we could go all in on something like this where it's a little bit less of – less variable for getting champions cup position Mm. i mean what's nice about this tournament is that these first few group games we can go all in on it and it doesn't cost us anything unless someone gets injured yeah like it it, it means nothing to uh, our other mls games everything's on pause we won't recognize a national break but we will recognize a brand new tournament that we put together (laughs) (laughs) that's true I'm excited for this tournament, man. I think it's, like, cool for the players and the coaches and the rest of the MLS. They can all just, like, kind of set the league aside and just focus on this for one month. Um, Yeah. It's a really cool exercise, and I think it also fosters – it's kind of like a little bit of foreplay for the World Cup coming up in 2026. Oh, yeah, We got it going across all North America. So All the different stadiums you'll get to have a look at. Cool, cool. I think I'm going to have to go with my final score prediction of 2-1 to one City. We grab a win away in Columbus. So. This guy's jacking your swag. You That's just there. how I feel after looking at yeah. these stats. Um, they give up. They give up 1.4. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Listen, so, all I'm saying one is. One of the highest fly, who, high flying team of the league. Who got the last score prediction correct? Who got the one before that correct? Not me. It was me. So, <laughs> well, good job, Ian. Yeah, not you, Chris. I'm gonna have to start <laughs> checking that's why, the tape. That's why Chris <laughs> is going with your pick because he's he's not dubbing. I'll change. No, I'll change mine actually because <laughs> after looking at the stats, <laughs> I think it's gonna be a two-two draw. Okay. Yeah. Man, what? The well, heck? who's winning? It's super. It, what cool do you mean? There are no draws. There's penalty shootout. Who's winning? Oh, that's true. Ding dong. Yeah. Well, are we winning the penalty shootout? We're we winning goalie lose? wars. Who? Oh, who is your five that takes the pens? Geo. Adeneron, Vasilev, Leuven, Hemi Parker. Parker is yeah, taking I, a pen? Yeah, I'm giving it to him. Sheesh. All right. What do you mean? Center backs come up and do audacious. Yeah, audacious. They just hit the piss out the ball. <laughs> or they'll, Dude, I feel like Chiellini and stuff like that, he's been known to like Panenka. And stuff. He's a little <laughs> prankster, though. <laughs> Hug merchant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's interesting is goal, the reason why I changed my answer is because Goals per match, Columbus Crew is number one with two exactly. St. Louis is second in goals per match with 1.9. Yeah. So two to two feels yeah, but real good to they're me. They're number one goals conceded, and we're not even top three. Mm-hmm. Let's see where we're at in goals conceded. Number we're five. Eighth. Or eighth. Eighth. Number eight. Yeah. yeah. So So you're wrong. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Two right. one is also feels feels good, but I'm gonna go two two. Let's let's put a five on it. All right, two two. Two zero. All right. If and neither if, of us get neither it, of it. Well, I don't know why we're saying two two. <laughs> we <laughs> can't draw two two, and then we, we go win, to pens. We win the and penalty we win? shootout. Yeah, or and, no? then we, and then we win the pens. So right. you're making your yeah. prediction way more way variable, more which means yeah. I'm way more likely to win this bet. Also, true. okay. If we go to pens, I should win the bet. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. 
Ian, you're in this bet too. I don't know what you're doing sulking I didn't over shake there. Shake anyone's hands. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what was your score prediction? Two, two one. Two one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, at ninety I, minutes, that's what we're going with. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. At ninety minutes, whatever the score is, that's who wins. All right. Okay. Watch well, it be a blowout. Watch it be like five <laughs> nil. I'm cool I with sure that. Hope not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we just had a whisper from God into our ear. Wow, that's unreal. Yeah. Sky Sports PSG reports really are a joke club. PSG this just offering ten-year, one point one one billion, billion dollar contract. Is that where we're at in sports now? Are we giving out Dude, billion no, dollar no, packages? That's, no, that's just where like PSG that. is. I was about to say <laughs> PSG knows that that is like. I mean, if you're a club, Messi was going to get one point something billion. Yeah, in Saudi Arabia, not in the French league. Like that's unheard of. That's you, literally you killing have, like, the French league. Yeah, like it's ruining the French. <laughs> yeah. league. Yeah, no wonder they're not top five. Yeah, yeah we need some salary. Caps. I don't see we why we need salary caps. He's yeah, gonna say no. I don't. I think that players just need to keep doing what they're doing. See out your contract and make it so that these clubs can't just like sell you wherever they yeah. see fit for like audacious amounts of money. It'll make you more money on the back end. I mean, and that if he signs that, that's his whole career pretty much. Oh yeah, he's yeah. ten years. He's, he's like never accepting that. Three, twenty-four, maybe. I have a sneaking suspicion. I've felt this way for a long time that Kylian Mbappe is a Galactico. He's, he's a Real Madrid player. He, he's been a Galactico since the beginning. Like I just, you can see it in his future. If he accepts this, he's not. Ta- I don't feel like he's taking his career seriously, dude. If if this happens. France as a nation needs to pass laws that stop that from happening. Like what what are our priorities here, people? <laughs> We're, to keep Mbappe in France. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, to keep the best player in the, the world, demand. arguably, that is French in France. Okay, to but your you own paid league. that much money for one player. What are the what's and the you know likelihood gonna you're do? gonna win a championship? We're gonna, league? We're what's, gonna raise what's the rest of your <laughs> We're going to raise the retirement age yeah. in order to do it. <laughs> France is going to raise taxes so that in Mbappe stays P- in yeah. France. I think they're under Qatar ownership. I was about to say, so PSG is doesn't even matter. Qatari-owned club. But if you're Mbappe, what do you do? Do, I you, go to, do you go to Real Madrid? Do you go to, does, does it even matter? Does the money even matter? First of all, point? the money that he already has is an abstract amount of money. Yeah, like, it's, at it's what like, point are you like, I have enough mm-hmm. money? And it's not like if he goes around, they're not they're not going to give him if anything, a truckload of money. If anything, this just gives him more leverage because he's going to be like, well, they put this contract on the table and I've got a year to sit on it. So yeah. like, if you guys don't come back with like 500 million for eight years i'm not coming to real madrid so it it gives him all the leverage it's just he's only he's 24 it's a yeah. bad look it is a bad look because it's i mean that's just desperate like yeah. <laughs> it makes psg look really really bad that's corny as hell because that's, they, that's a Quaalude Carnell moment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start that. Please don't get any ideas, Mickey. We're we gonna, are not hey starting man, We're going to get him a sponsorship <laughs> with a pharmaceutical yeah. company for a drug that's no that's longer how, produced. That's how I'm bringing good players to St. Louis. I'm starting my own Quaaludes, pharmaceutical, you're gonna yes. <laughs> pharmaceutical company. Tax breaks. Oh, man. There you go. All right. Where the well, Billy's at? With that, I don't know. Do you guys have anything else? I want Billy. I want Bentley. No. I think we're all good. <laughs> Give this man a quailer. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hey. Peace out. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for watching this episode of Soul of the City, brought to you by First Touch Media and Anchor FM. Make sure to check us out on YouTube at First Touch Media, and all of our socials are at First Touch 314. Thank you for watching.